Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're from. J. Rowe here, host of Big Hair Hits every Monday, 8 p.m. AlleghenyMountainRadio.org. Board game review, Catacombs of Carrick. I believe that's how you pronounce that. As far as I know, this is the first English version of a review of this game. Others seem to be in German. I picked this game up at a shop in Syracuse, New York yesterday. And it has a few mechanics that I like. Meaning uh, you pass out tiles to create the board as you go. And there's a lot of dice rolling involved and grabbing stuff out of a bag. <laughs> so those are fun mechanics for me. <clears throat> I would categorize this as a filler game and quite possibly a gateway game. So what you have is you pick a character and each character has two special abilities where we won't go over each one here. But um, And they have slots to carry some combat bonuses, some spells, and one key. You need keys to open treasure chests that appear on the board eventually. And the game stops when you when the dragon appears on the board and somebody kills the dragon. So whoever has the most treasure chests, that's me, this is the AI player over here. Uh, whoever has the most treasure chests after the dragon has been killed is the winner. So, uh, here are some icons that are uh, already on some of the tiles. This heals all your wounds. So every time you lose combat, and I'll tell you how to do combat, uh, here you can see I lost uh, some combat here a couple times. Once you lose all of your <clears throat> health hearts there, that means you're knocked out and the other player gets to go twice. So you lose your turn. Now, <clears throat> here we go. Uh... As you pull tiles from the bag, here's an example, a creature, 10. If you are fighting this guy, you have to roll 11 or more, which is kind of tough if you don't have any combat bonuses because you only have two six-sided dice. And if you do kill him, though, you get a combat bonus of three. So let's say I killed this guy. I would put it in the slot there. Now I have a combat bonus of three. So that's pretty simple stuff right there. And uh, here we go. Let's just do a couple rounds. Uh, here's another quick thing. This means you can teleport to the other tile that happens to have that symbol on it. But uh, in this instance, randomly drawing these tiles, <laughs> just funny enough, appeared right next to it. So that's kind of useless in this round here. But uh, you got your piles of tiles and you got your bag of monsters and treasure chests. All right, so let us play around and see what happens. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. It is the computer's turn, and his direction is dictated by the dice. Four, which means he wants to go west. So we pick up a tile. If the tile does not have a box on it, that means you just place it on the table connect it oh can't connect it here he can't go west my apologies let's try again uh, north uh he can do that okay let's go north shall we Oop. and each player incidentally can move four spaces so there's one let's pick another tile okay now here's an example of where you would draw from the bag because you have a square here we go. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. What did we get? A seven. A mummy. Mummy. And if you kill him, what do you get? Well, that's a plus one spell, one time use only. Okay? So, use it during combat. And if you kill a mummy, a cursed token, uh, it's in the box right now. I'm not going to get that out because I don't use it. But a curse token goes on to the other player. And what that means is they are not allowed to use their special abilities here. Okay, But I'm playing solo and 
to make it more challenging for me. I just don't use the special abilities. So here we go. So you pull it from the bag, you step on it, you roll. He's gonna get eight or more because he does not have combat bonuses and he got a nine. So he killed it. And if the computer player has the ability empty slots to carry anything then he's going to carry it so here we go he gets a one time only plus one on combat there we go all right let's uh my turn let's see i can move four now i can move back up if i want these hearts mean i can i play for one time only i can heal myself of all my skulls right now i only have two so i'm not too worried about it I also play if I lose all my hearts, then I die and the game is over. And however many treasure chests that I have is how many I have for a high score for next game. So, here we go. Let's pick a tile. Ta-da. Nope. Oh, it's got a box. So that means we pick something out of the bag. Alright, another mummy. And we know what we get from that mummy. One time only bonus of one and because you moved so you're exploring because you moved you have to fight whatever is on the square and i rolled a nine rolling good today Boop. let's pretend i rolled badly i mean pretend i got seven or less what you do is you get bumped one backwards and then you flip one of these over to a skull okay but I rolled very well, so I get to keep that. Boom. And one time only. Uh, luckily, I have a spot for that. If I didn't, I would choose to drop one of these, leave it on the tile, and keep uh, one slot. And I have a key here in case a treasure chest appears out of that bag and onto the dungeon. So this one here heals all your it teleports you to the heart tile in the dungeon and then as you know you can heal all of your skulls back to hearts and that's how you play the game you just keep moving drawing fighting collecting treasure when the dragon appears then somebody kills it game is done whoever has the most treasure wins and there's never a tie because the dragon gives off one and a half treasures so somebody always has more treasure than the other again this is a good gateway game i would compare it to the classic board game dungeon uh, see my other review of dungeon except instead of a fixed board uh, you have tiles and the board is created as you go so i would recommend this uh, over dungeon some may not like it because of the random dice rolling the random tile placement and the random token grabbing out of the bag but the artwork artwork is kind of cool kind of cartoony good for kids and uh yeah that's fun so far so there it is catacombs of carrick uh pretty good game thus far AlleghenyMountainRadio.org, Big Hair Hits, every Monday, 8 to 10 p.m. Peace.